Guy from a dating app unleashed his intel misogyny on me. We had one date and I thought he seemed really weird and awkward. I walked away not wanting to see him again, but when he asked for a second date I decided I should give him another chance because first dates are always hard. He said he'd planned bowling or something like that and then disappeared for a week, I assumed I was ghosted and was fine with that. Then out of the blue after not hearing from him for a week, he asked me over to his place to watch a movie and said we might talk but no guarantee. So I assumed that's asking for a hookup and ignored it. The next day he sends this text. You know you're almost 30 right? Most of your eggs are already dried up. That is a fact. Tick tock tick tock that is your limited value going out the window. Best of luck, you glass of aged milk. Mr. Perfect isn't out there, you're too old to be picky. Sorry for being honest. Your life sucks. I recently broke up with a different guy and when I broke it off he said similar things. Years may go by before you find someone else and then you'll get to a point where you can't have kids. You might still be attractive when you're older but I mean I haven't even hit my peak attractiveness yet and won't until I'm in my 40s. But women have a much smaller window. You have a biological clock that's gonna run out. Mind you that guy didn't even want to have kids. I guess I'm done. I was happier single with my career, friends, family, and hobbies than I have been since I allowed these men into my life. Honestly, the best response to that is to laugh and say and yet being alone is still the better option than being with you. It's the honest truth. They think that being alone is the worst thing that can happen to a woman, but really, they are the worst thing that can happen to a woman. Being shackled to someone like that would be unbearable. Going after your age and fertility is apparently one of their favorite tactics, like that should scare you enough to make you desperate to settle for their mediocrity. They are really just projecting their own terror of being unwanted and alone. Just came here to say you don't have to give anyone any chances. Especially the time we're in now it's safer to just leave people that give you a bad vibe alone. So many men truly hate that women have choices, and they do everything they can to bring women down. How dare women not be grateful only the smallest most ignorant sad sacks of crap throw the biological clock and the inability to pop out kids as an insult. They have nothing to offer women. Nothing. And they hate the women don't have to accept that anymore. They are but hurt and think they've delivered the sickest burn. Meanwhile I know women who've given birth at 40. It's not as impossible as these dudes seem to think it is. Also settle for me so you can get a baby isn't a good look on any of these dudes. Man, there's just no panty dropper like calling me an aged glass of milk. I haven't even hit my peak attractiveness yet. MFS be out there using 5-in-1 products on their bone-dry skin thinking they are Benjamin buttoning their way into 1990s Brad Pitt looks. I was happier single with my career, friends, family, and hobbies than I have been since I allowed these men into my life. First I am so sorry this happened to you. These guys are trash. And second, I have uttered this sentence many times because it is true. I was never so miserable as I have been trying to find a relationship than I have just being single and not looking. I don't even argue with guys who say shit like this. I just say and yet I still don't want you. I can tell you being over 35, the amount of men over 40 using 15-year-old pictures in their profiles is too damn high. Have not met a single man who peaked in looks over 35 at the latest. I can also tell you that one. I had zero problems getting pregnant with a healthy baby while older than 35 and 2. The men have never stopped hitting on me, except now I get hit on by guys way younger and way older. Good luck out there it's rough. By accusing you of being too picky, both those guys are straight up telling you they are low-quality partners, even by their own standards. Good for you for not getting saddled with a relationship with either of these losers. 45-year-old woman here. It is simply astonishing how many misogynistic men believe they will hit peak attractiveness in their 40s. They are wrong. 
even if they are physically attractive, by this point their bitter entitlement is so ingrained that financial solvency, intelligence, employment and an eight-pack combined aren't enough to deal with their shite. I swear their sour expressions have set into a sneer to boot. Fails at first date. Hey let's try again and go bowling. Refuses to meet up for bowling. Let's one week pass. Hey let's watch a movie at my place. My brother in Christ, how do you walk upstairs skipping that many steps? It's hilarious that these men still believe that they'll hit peak attractiveness in their 40s when most of them will be fat, out of shape, broke, and unable to get it up 40 of men in my their 40s with ED. They don't seem to realize that we have options for having kids and living without them. We can choose to have kids with in vitro or sperm donors, we have our own careers and make our own money. We don't need them and their zero effort, Netflix and chill, dates. Don't even worry about this fool. Go live your life. So I had a guy spew that BS at me when I was 37. I laughed and pointed out that he wanted me to lower my standards until he was good enough, which was more of an insult toward himself than me. He said a few more nasty things, but he was too pathetic to pay any more mind. What is the expected or hoped for outcome after spouting the you're old and almost worthless, you'd better settle line? Falling gratefully into their arms? Isn't there a lot of data indicating that single older women are the happiest demographic? I text back I ate all my eggs. What does he have to offer? Let him enjoy his sock. Read I thought you would be insecure because of your age, and the fact that you're not is a blow to my ego. That's a fact. Tick tock, this me attempting to manipulate you into insecurity, because this is where I live. I wish you no luck, because you offended me. Mr. Perfect is out there, but I will never be capable of being that for anyone, so I'm going make you think it doesn't exist. I'm too delusional to address my own problems, so I'm going to tell you you're old, as if age is an insult. I'm not sorry for being an asshole. My life sucks. Ah, uh, all these insul guys who think they are magically going to become more attractive in their 40s? I guarantee they'll be sorely disappointed when, instead of becoming more ruggedly handsome, they just have middle-aged spread and a thinning hairline. I'm 37 and honestly the hottest I've ever been. I get hit on by younger and older men online all the time. This ticking clock is made up by insecure boys who are trying desperately to get women to show them attention. Live your life. They will just get more angry watching from a distance lol. Most of your eggs are already dried up. Meanwhile the hair on his head is jumping ship at warp speed. What he really means. You know I'm getting old right? I've burned most of my bridges with women. That is a fact. Tick tock tick tock my body is aging and my limited value went out the window a long time ago. It's my own fault, I aged like milk and my personality is even worse. I have to trap a woman before she catches on. If they are all demanding basic decency and respect I'm gonna die alone. Sorry for being honest. My life sucks. Has he paid any attention to men and women in their 40s? A good-looking man in his 50 stands out because it is so rare. Good-looking women 50 or older are common. That's hilarious. Why do men who have no value today think they'll suddenly blossom on the 40th birthday? He's so out of touch. They are not all like that, but I understand not wanting to weed through the trash to find a real one. Reply back with your winning personality, I doubt you've seen a vagina since you exited your mother's. Fucking Kells. I'm 43 years old and I'm just finished. I don't get any attention and I'm perfectly happy with it. Sometimes it stings and by it I mean how a woman's value is based on her age and attractiveness. Growing older and happier doesn't sting in the least. Inkels don't realize men's biological clock is 34 when the quality of their sperm goes downhill. Some women can still have children in their 60s depending on a variable of factors and riskier. Plus, there's test tube babies, surrogates, and adoption. I really wish there was some way these horrendous comments made by petty people could be visible on their own dating app profile. 
potential partners might value the opportunity to see how past interactions have fared.